welcome to another episode of the Chin Check series with your host, Rebel Life. Today's episode, we're going to talk about the chin of Josh, the Tartan Tornado Taylor, one of the one of my favorite Brit fighters. Has a lot of grit, a lot of dog in him. Very seldom do you see that coming from those Brits, man. Most of the time, a lot of these Brit fighters, they they give up in the corner, or they, you know, they get punched into submission and find ways to quit. You know, like Amir Khan, uh, Kel Brook. Uh, but you know, Kel Brook, you know, his eyes are broken, so you know you got to give a little bit of slack. You got to give some leeway for that, man. I mean, you don't want these guys to keep fighting with a broken fucking orbital bone and they can't and their vision get fucked up or something worse. You know what I mean? Yeah, we understand that's what they signed up for. But at the same time, we don't want to see nobody permanently damaged like that, you know, for our for our uh, entertainment. That's just I don't believe in that. And you can say the same for Daniel Dubois. His eye was, was damn near shut closed by the juggernaut. So. I mean, but Amir Khan, that was no excuse for him to, to quit. And I've seen uh, other fighters do that. I think, um, who was it, man, that also did that over one of those Brits? Was it, um, damn, I don't remember his name. The dude that just, I forgot his name. It was the dude that got through. He he fought the one that um, Jamel Heron whooped on. Was it Josh? His name was Josh too, I believe, right? I forgot his last name. I'm having a brain freeze here. But y'all know who I'm talking about. He's one of them Brits. But let's get in to Josh Taylor, man. Let's get into his record, man. Josh Taylor is at 18 wins, no losses. 13 wins by way of knockout. He is currently the undisputed champion at 140 pounds. Um, junior welterweight. Uh, his next fight is against Jack Catterall to defend his titles at 140. We'll see what happens. And I already made a prediction. Go check that out. But 13 wins, 13 knockouts out of 18 wins is pretty impressive. Josh Taylor has a pretty pretty high KO rate in 72%. So he has some power. Absolutely. Hard puncher. Very slick. Uh you know, it's either debatable, but I could see some little remnants. For some reason, I always looked at Jars Taylor's fighting style. Kind of, he puts me in the mind of a of a, a European version of Bud. It's just certain things I I look at the way he fight a little bit. Kind of, he kind of budish to me. Not all the way. Nobody could be Bud, but he he. I see it. Something about him. It's just something the way he fight. I it just reminds me of, of Terrence Crawford, but. Let's get into his chin, man. Um, I've seen Josh Taylor in some. Uh, let, let's first. This is let's just let's just go down the, the list a little bit. We're not gonna go too far back. So he fought uh, a, a fight against Ivan Berinchik. Uh Very good scrap. Whooped his ass though, nonetheless. <laughs> Whooped on him to a twelve round unanimous. Then he had uh, he knocked out Ryan Martin. Uh, he scrapped it out with Victor Postal. You know Victor Postal's not really a power puncher, but he showed he he whooped he, he destroyed him too. But you know he got touched up a couple couple few times in there, but it was nothing too major, nothing Josh couldn't handle. He knocked out Miguel Vasquez, light puncher as well. Uh, some of these other dudes, I don't know who these dudes are. Way back here, 2015, 2016. Um, a lot of these dudes, Josh Taylor only have 18 fights. So, you know, give or take. He hasn't fought that many hard punchers. He hasn't had that much quality written, uh, names on his resume yet. You know, um, I would say the most notable names is Victor Postal. And uh, Ryan Martin was pretty good. Uh who else was pretty good on his resume here? We got Postal. He knocked out Ryan Martin. He was gave it all he could. Couldn't um couldn't fuck with him though. 
uh, Jose Ramirez. That was the fight that took him to Undisputed. Uh, this this Kong Song dude, he had some power, but wasn't enough to really do anything to Josh Taylor, man. He has a pretty solid chin, but the most notable fight that you saw Josh Taylor getting hit in was the Regis Progray fight. And you got Regis Progray. He's a dude with 26 wins and... 22 of those wins are by knockout. So Regis Progre is coming with some serious heat. Hardest, he's probably one of the hardest punches at 140. Regis Progre and Josh Taylor stood in the pocket with him most of that fight, dude. And you look at their faces at the end of that fight. Look at Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor's face at the end of that fight looked like he was a, a Irishman in a bar, got into a big bar brawl, and just came out with a fucked up eye was happy as shit that, that's what his face looked like at the end of that fight man i never saw him hurt i never saw him hurt in that fight as far at least to the chin uh in the in the uh, jose ramirez fight i think i seen josh taylor buzzed in that fight. i think jose ramirez buzzed him maybe two times in that fight i've seen him buzzed i think uh he was he was hit to the body, I think, once, and I think Josh was hit to the chin, and he did get buzzed, I believe. I can't remember what round it was, but he never looked physically shaken where, you know, he was just out of it. He didn't know where he was. He was disoriented, and he was getting hit pretty hard. He was taking some shots from, from Jose Ramirez as well. Definitely was taking shots from Regis Progre. Those, those two right there are probably um, the... Um, the dudes that he has faced so far that has the that has the heaviest hands is you know Jose Ramirez and jo, um, Regis Progre, and he took those he took the power with no issue. So I have to give my official prediction, my official report card for Josh Taylor's uh, Josh Taylor's chin. I will have to give Josh Taylor's chin a B. So I think Josh Taylor has a B class B level chin. Uh, he hasn't fought that many hard punches yet, that many top, top elite champions. He's at 18 fights, so he still has some, some fight left in him, some fights. He got a whole lot of fights left in him in his career, hopefully, and maybe that'll change to an A-level chin if he fights some more heavy punches and he can take some more shots from them and nothing happens to his chin. But for right now, we got to give Josh Taylor a B a b-level chin just for those simple facts that he hasn't really fought that many power punchers and that many people uh you know of any significance anybody with subpar power or even the, that has that raw power like regis and um jose ramirez does but that's my official report card let me know what you think about the chin of josh taylor this is your boy Rebel Life Boxing, and I'm off this, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.